Hello, everybody. Welcome to ControlsCon. <laughs> Whoa. What if a building could just talk to you, right? What, what kind of things would a building say to you? For instance, if you were an operator, maybe the building would say, hello, good morning, Mr. Building Operator. It's 70 degrees outdoor air. You are in the occupied mode. There are three critical alarms from yesterday you haven't addressed. There's no new ones today. And we are super efficient today. What is the whole purpose of making a building connected or smart? And, and you know, apart from that it's cool and it's fun and we like to figure stuff out, I mean, it, it really is to save energy, it's to cut down operational expense, it's to save some money, and hopefully you know, make that, that place a little bit more engaging for the people. Here we are, this is our ecosystem, it's home kit, this is how you talk to us, here are the protocols, here are the profiles for all the devices, and it spans all the stuff in your house. We're going to be embedding machine learning and AI at the edge, at the controller level, from a software perspective, and we're going to be doing AI and uh, predictive analytics in the cloud. Lots of things printed about how we can improve productivity in buildings. My personal opinion is we can't improve productivity in buildings, but we can absolutely make sure we're not detracting from productivity in buildings. Single interface um, that's easy to use for our operators, connecting all building systems together. And ultimately, the whole drive behind our smart building vision was to really create a better tenant experience. We wanted our tenants of our properties to basically have a technician there before they even made a cold call. We uh, have developed what we believe is, is the first building notification system. We at Cochrane Supply, we developed the app, and what we did within the app was we developed more ways for you folks to narrow in those notifications so that an individual can get just the right notification that they're looking for. We're calling it Raven. The app is right now in the store, and we're, we're ready to do a live demo for you folks. We gotta wake up every morning, we gotta do things better. So we're building these tall buildings, we're building these new projects, it's gonna be the best. This crew in this room is going to have to get uh, more in tune with consumer IoT because guess what? It's moving at 4,000 miles an hour. Our biggest asset is really this community, uh, and I sincerely mean that. Without this community, we, we can't execute. You guys give us ideas, you give us feedback, you tell us when we're screwing up, and that's important. So we need to maintain that relationship. So where does it start? It starts where it always starts. It starts in our personal lives. So wearables, wearables this year is a $14 billion industry, I think 34 billion projected by 2020. So if you can imagine what's gonna happen in the next four years is Detroit's gonna go from probably one of the cities with the least amount of building technology to where I'm gonna submit us as probably gonna be the, Detroit will be the smartest city on earth. So the challenge is, uh, Wake up every morning with the intent of doing things better than you did the day before. Get back on there to being the best. Diving into things that are uncomfortable and, and, and maybe not known. Um, because if you don't, they're gonna just pass you right by. My goal at Tridium is to drive innovation. I think that we need to move much faster. We need to move from zero to launch in 12 weeks. Where we really need to be is those apps in the cloud are services that I can find and I can understand how I'd use them, and I just subscribe to them. But if I have a rich model that describes the system better, I can make better decisions and I can be a lot more efficient in my operations. So our goal was to basically give our team, our, our engineering staff, um, the ability to 
real time watch what's going on in our properties and basically uh, get out before the tenant uh, the tenant knows. Our goal though really is is to provide a human centered fully autonomous building. So as an industry we have to be able to have tough conversations with ourselves with our clients to be able to deliver things in a different way to be able to think through things in a different way to really make all of this happen. You know, starting a little company, you had no vision that you'd ever get this far. Here's a toast to everybody, and here's hoping they get another 50 years. Oh man. Woo. Well, there you go, Motor City. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody.